persons here in the crowd who knows who I am. <laughs> but you probably would have stumbled upon my blog because I'm a very passionate Mansokan anti Isaiah. I am a Methodist pastor. I've been a Methodist pastor for 25 years. I'm also a lecturer. I teach the Bible and I teach that part of the Bible called the Old Testament. And people call me with a nickname. My students call me the rabbi. <laughs> because rabbi means teacher. So my nickname is called Rep in short, R-E-B. So as a rabbi, I teach what I firmly believe to be the Word of God. And as I read the scriptures, the scriptures tells me things like this is not outside religion. In fact, it's part and parcel of life itself. Because some people always argue that, you know, you cannot mix church and state. You can't mix religion and politics. But when you look at what the scripture says, there is no division. The more I read the scriptures that I believe in, the more it tells me that I cannot have social, I cannot have personal holiness with God without the horizontal, the social holiness. Religion is not just loving God alone and then uh, not bother about what's happening in the country and I say. In fact, if I say I love God, I love people as well. And how can you love people when you put them in prison under ISA? So my faith draws me to come here tonight. I've been talking with Sivin for the last about a month ago. We plan to come wearing our collars to make a statement. Okay? Of course, you know that in the Operation Lala 987, some pastors were also arrested. So being a man of the club gives you no immunity. <laughs> In fact, someone already has been arrested before the Filipino priest. <laughs> but in a way, what I want to share tonight is very simple. When I go around speaking to people in churches about the ISA, the first question they always ask me is, Pastor, why are you so obsessed with this? Why do you want to endanger yourself? Why do you want the police to create a dossier on you and, and keep tag on you? Then I say, I am not obsessed. 